guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. And for all of my Filipino friends, mabuhay. Just everyone in every language and every place, welcome to my channel. I'm excited to have you here today. Today we are doing a requested video of my hair routine or how I maintain my gray silver hair. And before we jump into that process, I did want to mention a few things. I posted a video a little bit back about starting a new series and that I would have you vote on the palettes I used in that series. I did put up an Instagram post with the three sunset palettes from Lorac, and if you want to vote, go ahead and head on over to my Instagram. It's just Achel the Great. There is a picture of these three palettes. Just type what palette you want to see a tutorial on. And I should be putting that up and starting that new series next week. I just wanted to give more people a chance to vote because there were only a couple votes and I wasn't sure it was clear to people that I was doing the voting on my Instagram. I also want to mention, I don't know if you guys know because I don't really talk about much but makeup and beauty, but I'm really into planning. I have an Erin Condren life planner and I do stickers and I go crazy with it and I'm really obsessed with planning and my sister has started a planning channel which I'm really excited about because it's a horizontal planning channel so if you're into planning and stickers and love the Erin Condren planner. She's also gonna branch out and do other planners eventually, but that's what she's working with right now. Then go ahead and check out that channel. I will link it down below and also insert it in the cards, whichever side they're on. I never remember when I'm filming how it's gonna look, like which side, I think it's this side. I'll put it over there. And visit her channel, show her sh some love. She just started, she only has a couple of videos but she's posting regularly and she's really excited about it and I'm really excited to see more horizontal planning videos out there so I wanted to share that with you in case you as well are into planning. <laughs> Alright so let's just get started with my hair maintenance routine. I did film myself showering and all of that so you can kind of see exactly how I use the products that I'm going to talk about. And this is just my hair just blow dried, not really styled at all so you can really see the color. But basically what I do to color my hair is I go to the salon and I get blonde balayage and baby lights to lighten my hair in sort of an you know, balayage style where it's like darker, almost, balayage is similar to ombre where it's like darker and then lighter and it's just more natural looking than an ombre so that's why I like it because I can go far in between appointments without getting touched up but that's what I do to get like the base of my hair done is I get balayage and baby light and then my stylist will color my hair with toner and that lasts like one to two shampoos and just rinses away so I would be blonde again not gray or silver so she recommended most of these products to me and I use them every time I shower and that's how I consistently maintain this color. First, I rinse my hair with cold water. Always if you're doing a vivid color and trying to leave it in, you want to use cold water because it'll keep the follicle closed and keep the color locked in. So I rinse my hair with cold water. Once I have rinsed my hair in cold water, I will towel dry it and get all of the excess moisture off because this is a color depositing shampoo. So you want your hair to be as dry as possible to make sure it soaks up that color. So then I take the viral color wash in um, extreme silver and this is something if I can find it I will link it down below but this is something you get from your salon or from the professional cosmetologist stores I picked this up at Cosmoprof it is a professional store I used some 
cosmetologist card to go there, scan it. You have to be licensed to shop there. So if I can find this anywhere that's not a professional store for you to pick up, I will link it down below. So I towel dry my hair and then I take a generous amount of this because I'm going to go from root to end. And I massage that in from root to end until I feel like my entire head is covered in that shampoo. And then I set a timer on my phone, typically 10 or 15 minutes, depending on how much time I have to shower. And I put my hair up in a clip and I just sit and I wait until that timer goes off. Sometimes I'll go ahead and do my other shower activities while I'm waiting, like shaving my legs, things like that. Other times I'll just sit on my phone and watch YouTube videos while I'm waiting, depending on how I feel that day. Then I go ahead and rinse my hair in cold water again and towel dry it again. We are going to apply the viral conditioner and this is just in silver. I They didn't have an extreme silver. So this I take and I apply a fairly good amount from about mid shaft for me to the bottom of my hair and get that all in there. And this is because I want my hair to look balayaged silver. So when I'm putting this conditioner in, which I find deposits more color than the shampoo, I want the focus of that color to be at the bottom of my hair. And then I take a little bit that's left on my hand, usually I have a little bit left on my hand, and I take it with the Kenra Brightening Violet Toning Conditioner, and I mix that together to sort of brighten and tone the top of my head, and I put that in the top of my head. Then I put my hair up in a clip, set my timer, 10 or 15 minutes, and I wait. <laughs> Once my conditioner has set for 10 or 15 minutes, I go ahead and once again rinse it in cold water and I really make sure to get all of the product out. I don't want any product left in there because I'm going to be putting even more color products in my hair after I rinse it. So I want it completely free of product. And then I go ahead and put my hair up in a towel and I let it sit for a few minutes while I do my skincare, put on my body butter, things like that, and let my hair get a little bit dry from being up in a towel. And this is where we do the whole process of blow drying products into my hair. So first I'm going to take the surface pure blonde violet conditioner and this is actually more of a blue than a violet I don't know if you can see it's more blue um, and I just take a pretty sizable amount of that and then I also take the Kenra Platinum Revive Strengthening Mask, which is a leave-in conditioner for damaged hair. And since I color treat my hair and I blow dry my hair every time I shower, I like to add this in for a little bit of health. And I add a smaller amount of that than I do the blue shampoo or the blue conditioner. And I rub those together in my hands and then I just put that all over my hair starting from mid shaft to end and then going up with what's left on the roots all the way through. I don't want a lot of blue in the root area. I want it mostly down at the bottom but I do want it spread throughout so I do put it throughout but I concentrate most of it in the mid shaft to end. Then I take some Kenra blow dry mist and for me what this does it just speeds up the blow drying process. The pure blonde surface conditioner 
is a heat protectant so I don't really need the heat protectant properties of it but it does speed up the blow drying process I have a lot of hair it takes me a long time to blow dry so if I can speed it up I will and this Kenra blow dry mist definitely does it and I know you can get Kenra products at like Ulta and places like that so that'll definitely be accessible for you I just don't know about the viral and the surface products those might be harder for me to find but again if I can find them I will link them below <sighs> then what I do is I just blow dry my hair sometimes I just blow dry it without a nozzle and <sighs> just let it be natural this is natural for me I didn't use a nozzle I didn't use a round brush if I want to look really styled and nice I will put on the nozzle and use a round brush and really get like that curl at the end and make it look really nice and smooth but I'll just go in willy-nilly with the blow dryer however I don't really have a specific method and then when my hair is almost all the way dry, like 99% dry, I will take the Surface Basu oil, and this is just a, like a serum for your hair, and I will smooth that over the ends and from the root all the way through to kind of smooth any of the frizzies that the blow dryer caused, because the blow dryer does make me have a lot of flyaways and cause me to be a little bit frizzy so I smooth that all the way through my hair and then I just hit it with the blow dryer one more time to get it 100% dry and really lock that serum in my hair and that is the entire process and this is the result we are left with and sometimes I switch it up and I just do this without this to have a more blue effect so if you ever notice in my videos sometimes I have some really intense blue sections today I don't it's because I'm using this by itself and it comes off a lot more intense blue when you use it by itself but mixing it with this one not only does this one help treat my hair because of the damage I put it through lightening it and everything it also sort of calms down the blue and makes it appear more silver instead of just blue streaks throughout my hair Whew, that was a lot of explanation so that is the entire process pretty much every time I shower so I wash my hair about twice a week maybe once sometimes three times if I get really sweaty and gross and my hair gets really nasty but I try and keep it down to two times a week because it is such a process and it takes it takes me like an hour to shower what with the rinsing putting it in waiting rinsing putting it in waiting waiting for it to dry a little bit then blow drying it's it's just a long process so I only do it about twice a week and I think it works really well I'm really happy with my hair color when I first said I wanted silver hair this was not what I expected but I love like the darker gray color it came out with and I'm really happy that we didn't have to like full-on bleach my hair and completely like blank me out to get silver and fry my hair so I really recommend if you are able to get your hands on the viral color wash products to try these if you have anywhere from like dark blonde to light blonde hair because like my roots are naturally dark blonde and you can still see a hint of silver so it works on dark blonde hair and I really recommend it I like it a lot but it's it's a long process to shower and it does take a lot of maintenance and a lot of work and that's my whole hair routine so I hope you guys got something out of this and that this was helpful to you if you have any further questions about 
my hair or anything like that, leave them in the comments below. And in case you're wondering, the crazy eye look I have going on is because I'm going to a Colorado Eagles playoff game tonight. So I wanted to show my team support by wearing the team colors, which are white, red, navy, and gold. And I have all of those on my eyes today. And I also have red and gold lips and blue highlighter. So... <laughs> That's what's going on with that look in case you were wondering. That completes this video. If you like this type of video, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well if you have not already. I'd love to see more of your face around here. I will see you guys next time. Bye.